Okay, today we, I'm gonna change or yeah the wheel bearings on my 2008 Honda Ridgeline. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick video. It's just like how hard it is to do it. You had to, you need to have the right equipment to do this job, because otherwise it's not gonna worth it if you wanna try to do it yourself. It's better if you just send it to the shop so they can replace it for you. And why? Because you need like two press or a press to do this job. So it's gonna you're gonna pay for just for the tools at least a couple hundred dollars. I I spent like six hundred dollars for the press to so I can I can get it you know done quicker. And you know for the rubber uh, screws they got stuck. And I couldn't I couldn't get uh get it out without just stripping them you know so i had to work with this this drill bit and and i had to work you know a little bit harder but since this is my truck you know i've been replacing the whole suspension and but if you're doing it yourself you need to think it twice if you want to do this and why is the reason I'm gonna replace the wheel bearings. I'm gonna do the two front wheel bearings. The reason is because I just wanted to. I have a little noise. Uh, yes, every time it hits a a uh, a dip, a, a bump. So that's why I'm replacing. Just I'm gonna, I'm just replacing the whole suspension. Just replace the uh, the uh, uh, the shocks, the struts. I uh, just replaced the uh, the axle. I'm gonna show you how to replace the axle in the next video. And then uh, and, um, pretty much all the whole suspension, the tie rod ends, tie rod out. I did it all, so you will see the videos coming in the next couple weeks and months. It depends how busy I am. And uh, but I already did it, so I, I just got the video, so I you know I got to ed edit them. So it comes a little in parts because otherwise it would be a very long video. But I'm just gonna cover all the areas that I did and to remove uh, the wheel bearing. And uh, pretty much it's not, the hardest part is get out the wheel bearing and the hub. Okay, that's the main, uh, the main part, the main reason why you don't want to do it yourself. Because if you don't do it right the first time and you install them, you install the wheel bearings and you don't install it, you know, the, the right way, man, you got to do it again, all this process. So if you not feel, you know, comfortable do, by doing it, or if you don't have the resources to get the uh the uh, equipment the tools the right tools so you just take it to the shop i know it's gonna be a little expensive but hey it is what it is but in saying this you know i'm doing this because i'm just doing it for my hobby it's my own truck i don't do this for life for living i mean i'm, I'm not doing this for living otherwise i would be broke probably <laughs> but uh after I replace all these suspension, everything is went just smooth in my 2008 Honda Ridge line. And I love it, okay? Um, other than that, uh, it's pretty much all basic tools on there. The only difference I had to buy the uh, press to get the, the, uh, the wheel bearing out. And then I had to buy the other press to press the wheel bearing in. But you know, with the right tools, it's easier. It took me a little while uh, to figure it out how to do it, you know, because this is the first time I'm doing a wheel bearing installation, an installation like this. Because, you know, some most of the cars, you know, you just take four, four bolts and, and, and you take the whole thing and then out, right? I don't know, just after this. This is the one I bought on Napa. This is the one you can had to pay like almost $600 to get it. Yeah, $600. I 
but this is pretty pretty awesome okay this is very good tool press okay then I had you had to remove the real three bolts to remove the or just get loose uh, the shield the reason you need to remove this is to put the press between it so you'll be able to put the press between the uh, this in the mirror right here okay and then I had to use the pressure uh, uh, pliers just remove the three bolts and you'll be good to go uh, oh you know what I forgot to I want well, I forgot some of the steps I probably skipped some step but this is pretty much the whole process to remove the wheel bearing I'm not gonna tell you which parts I used to install because I was trying it to figure out you know which um, all these uh, tools which one was the correct one I think at the end I, I did it good but I can remember I think that we had the little one because you're gonna press the little one on the uh, in the center just like that uh, the wheel bearing itself is just like the amount it cost me like what 50 bucks something like that but you know it wasn't that much and then I'm gonna use the same hubs I've seen other videos that they replace the hub assembly you know with a new one in my case I I tried to do the same, but I didn't find the hub on any of the stores around me, near me. So I had to use the the, the same ones, and I had to remove the part, which is the the one that got stuck in the hub from the wheel bearing. And you're gonna see how you know all the work that I'm doing. But with the two look, it's so simple to remove the hub, and then uh. Let me just speed up this part right here. Okay. Then uh, let's see. Then you have the. Uh, I tried to remove the uh, wheel bearing with one of these, but it didn't have the right size, so I had to use other press. So, like I said, I didn't have another idea for now. And so this is the way I'm doing it it's the same way you just have you know a lot of tools so I can make it happen but if you don't have that many tools just like me man you're you're lost it's gonna be harder so just send them to the shop so they can do it for you see it's it's pressing down I'm pressing down the wheel bearing and that's pretty much uh all the tools that you need to remove it to take it out I did and it works for me the way I do it some shops they got the press and then you just pay them like a fee to remove the the wheel bearing and then you still install it yourself you know if they charge you a hundred bucks to do it both that's that's great and you just pay another 50 bucks for the um, What's it called for the uh, for the wheel bearing? When I installed the wheel, bear, uh, wheel bearing, I had to put it in the freezer for one night because that's what I heard that it goes smoother this way when you leave them uh, in the freezer for one night or for a few hours, and that's what I did. See, it's coming out. Like I said, when you got the right tools. You got it, you know. Or you had to do, or you know, if you have other ways, of course, you know. I don't know if it comes the different ways, you know. When you use smart, you can probably be, uh, do it different. Make sure all the surfaces are clean, you know. Make sure everything's good. This is a new wheel bearing, as you can see. I just got it out. I just got it out from the freezer on my refrigerator, and you're gonna see it's gonna go smoother. When you put it, press it down. Uh, there is a one way that you need to put this wheel bearing. This is the one that comes with the uh, magnetic magnet. 
side, which is this one with a brown stripe. Stripe, see, I think is what you call it. Make sure the um, the magnetic uh, side is going towards to the back, okay? Just like this, and then you, and then you know that it's gonna go down smoothly. Like I says, this one come out uh, out of the freezer for one night, so that way it's gonna go in in the in the hub very very easy. There you go, right there. See where is the line up? Right there, you see the hole right there where the ABS sensor goes? Yeah, just like that, it goes like that. Perfection. Remember to put the, the uh, this other part to secure the wheel bearing. There you go. I think it calls this uh, luck, luck, something like that. Uh, this I did this on the summertime, so everything was hot. So it was good with weather. Uh, this is for a. Um, oh, I had to put a new bolt. This is for a 2008 Honda Ridgeline 3.5 VTEC VTEC engine, four wheel drive. Oh well, it, there it says all wheel drive. This is the the way that you had to cut it. So I seen someone they just do use a torch to heat it up and remove it, but I, I I didn't have the torch the torch ready, so I'm just gonna use this one and cut it. Just don't touch the hub itself because you wanna mess up the uh if the 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 way, okay. Here we are again. You're gonna have to just kind of figure it out which tools is gonna work for you, okay? You can use this, you can, as long, uh, it needs a little more, look how you can see. You're gonna feel it until it's, it's done. There you go. It's good now, so it's pressed all the way, so. Let's put it back on in the, uh, in the truck, and that's it, you just, do the positive to put it back out everything back and you're good to go see now it's nice all the way always double check 
There you go. Clean it. And you'll be good to go, okay? This is the part of the magnetic. You can see right here where the hole goes. That's where the ABS goes, the ABS sensor. Okay, and that's it, guys. Don't forget to put all the 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 tools, I mean, the, the parts, the nuts. I don't know the torque of any of these. So just go look and Google it and look for the torques. I just go by what I... You know, tie it all the way, and that's it. You gotta, or as you can see, I replaced the CV axle. I'm gonna make another video. How do I did that? Okay, just wait for my next video for the axle. That's it. And I put it like a tre tread locker on my bolts as well, and then. Uh, the job just it took me a couple of days you know i do a little bit by little bit because i had to go and buy the the press and figure it out a little bit by little bit but you know that's what i'm saying this is just for entertainment purposes remember so this is my hobby okay i'm not doing it for living so i forgot to install this one before i put the CV axle, but anyways, pull the as you can see, everything is new, brand new, everything is nice and new. Okay, I spent like I would say like two grand on parts, no, like 2600, but yeah, 2600 dollars for the whole front suspensions only, including the wheel bearings and my press. Okay. I'm not talking about, I'm just talking about parts, okay? Wheel bearings, struts, CV axles, tie rod ends, tie rod, uh, what else? Uh, uh, the swipe bar, bar link, the bar links. Yeah, it was about two grand, something like that, eh? more than that on parts only all right and that's it just put everything back on i painted the whole job here or oh, it does the abs i put everything back together i had to use a new screws for this one this time because remember the other one got, I got messed up so new screws i bought a, a ace hardware store here in louisville And that's it, guys. I didn't have to replace the brake pad because I just replaced a couple of months ago, so I didn't replace them. They're still good. Well, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment below and, and let other guys answer the messages because sometimes I don't, I don't know. Pretty much all the times I don't know the answers because remember I don't do this for a living so I don't know much about all this. I just do my stuff. I just follow other videos, you know, same way as you guys. But I just want to share this one about the wheel bearings. My first time changing the wheel bearings, so it's not that it, it it's not that hard when you have the tools. But if you don't have the tools, you have to spend money. If you want to spend the money, that's good because you're gonna the, the money that you're gonna go and, and let other pay for that. You can do it yourself. But other than that, that's it. See the new struts, Monroe. That's a Monroe strut. Uh huh. Yeah, perfecto. I got it. I got it. See you next time, guys. I'm just make sure everything is good. As you can see, everything is brand new. Even the uh, arm controllers, spot joints, everything. Even the rotors, they're not really that old. A couple months ago, I replaced them. 
See you next time. Thank you for watching. To the rescue.